Psykusk. Today I'm going to be talking about my how like my MBTI type and how I experience loops and um, my grips. That grips. <laughs> No, but seriously, I'm going to be talking about how I like my experiences with loops and grips. And if you don't know, I am the one in 70 million. I am an INFJ. I thought I was an ENF, well, an NFP for a while because um, I hated school. So how can I um, be a judger? Like I don't, I hate school, not scheduled. <laughs> and also I just, uh, I'm, I'm an emotional fuck, which is true. <laughs> Um, so basically that's why I thought I was an NFP, but I do define as an ambivert, so I thought I was an ENFP for a few years. Like, after being typed as an INFP. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, INFJs are also ambiverts, so, you know, that also fits. And also, INFJs don't have TE in them at all. So, with that being said, ENFPs do. And I use TI, so I'm like, dude, you know, you, I, I should not rely on 16 personalities. But if you do not think I am one in 70 million people, you can comment down below and tell me what type I, like you think I am. So yeah, let's just, let's just get on with this, I guess. Anyways, um, so basically, uh, loops is when your dominant function teams up with your tertiary and you leave out your auxiliary. And for long periods of time, this could be unhealthy. Um, for INFJs, this means um, introverted intuition and introverted thinking join up together. And when looping happens, you kind of forget about your auxiliary function. So for INFJs, we forget about FE and we don't use FE in favor of TI during this time. And if we keep doing this, it is not healthy. <laughs> um, and yeah, that, that's basically it. I, I fucked up last time, so that's why um, that this is just added. <laughs> And when we, and you know, in grips, it is, uh, you know, extroverted sensing. We have an extrovert sensing grip, but grips in general it, or is just, you know, your inferior function, just relying on that. And it's very unnuanced because this is your inferior and you don't really know it well. Um, so that being said, it's, it's fun gripping, okay? Anyway, so how I experience loops is... Um, I kind of use my really bad TI to gather information about one thing and this is very minimal information and I don't really add so much nuance to it and I just start making hunches and patterns based on that information. I'm all out of whack because this is not what my NI is used to. My NI is used to doing this with people because I, I think I'm a pretty okay problem solver when it comes to people. Like um, I'm kind of the dad friend. I'm not really that comforting, but I can probably try to solve your problem. And I don't know, that's why they call us the counselors because I just, I don't know, I try to like be there for my friends and stuff. So yeah, sometimes I'm really out there um, with that though. Like I do comfort my friends to an extent, you know, but I'm more of a meme sender. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie. Um, I, I usually throw the memes out there and I usually try to give advice and there's like Sam listen to me <laughs> you know what I mean so yeah like that's how my FE works aux FE is really awkward I'm not gonna lie so basically when I use this I can bore people's emotions <laughs> not I'm like I know that's like such a weird term to use <laughs> but that's literally what happens like I just I just like you know feel your emotions man I have so much empathy and it's it kind of fucks me up sometimes since I think like other people's emotions are my emotions and I'm just like dude like I can't handle this sometimes I can't watch the news or like watch movies because just something intense would happen and I'm like dude okay this is this is too whack I gotta stop <laughs> so that that's something that I like tend to do because of Effie. Like I just sense everyone's emotions and I sense like movie emotions. Like I, I'm sensing fake ass emotions out there. And I'm just like, dude, I can't handle this. I gotta go. And basically that's um, how I use Effie. Um, but like I said, it's aux, so I'm not the most comforting at times, and sometimes I can't fully relate, like with relationship issues, you know, rela relation, re relationship, the, the, the relationships with the relations, not just friendships, like friendships I can handle because like I'm perfect at mediating those, 
and like just conflict in general, but mediating relationship issues, okay? This is like a foreign thing to me. So basically with my FE, like I can't really grasp onto it since, you know, FE is more sympathy instead of empathy. You know, I do, I am an empath, but that doesn't really matter. Like if sympathy and empathy don't really connect to the cognitive functions. Like feeling is more morality than, you know, feelings. <laughs> So I just want to throw that out there, but um, I, I am an empath, but it is more common for FE users to be just people with high sympathy. So that being said, I'm, I kind of don't relate to some things and hey, it happens. You know, that this usually comes in relationship issues. Like if someone's like single and they don't follow my motto with relationships, you know, you're never gonna find it if you're looking for, you know, the used, you know, you know what I'm talking about, okay? You, you emo fucks know the used. So basically, you know, that's just my um, mentality on a lot of things. If you're, you're never going, you're, you'll never find it if you're looking for it. And when I tell people this, they're like, I'm still lonely, that didn't help. And I'm like, listen to me, I'm right. You know, like that's the thing with um, my FE. Like, I'm just like, dude, like you can't force relationships and you have to like be in relationships with people who are, who actually share things in common with you. Like don't just randomly get in a relationship for the heck of it. Cause you're lonely. Like, dude, that's not how it works. And usually there's like, Sam, shut up. You're, you, you don't know me. And I'm just like, you know what I mean? I'm like, I've been, I know how things work. So basically, that's me with like relationship issues like I'm the worst at that but yeah and I also get really annoyed with those <laughs> uh with like giving advice to that but basically you know when I'm in a loop I am worse with that I'm just I'm more like bitch listen to me and I'll just like give up on someone if they don't take my advice and I'm like dude like you gotta listen to me fam you gotta listen to me all right you can't just fuck up your life forever I, I know I'm kind of a hypocrite with this though because I do this all the time so I can't really complain, but I just get really angry sometimes at that. Like, dude, listen to me. Like, come on, dude. And, you know, that that's just kind of my experience with FE, but it gets worse when, it's, when I'm in a loop. And people really just, I get really impatient when I'm in a loop if people don't take my advice. Because I'm like, I analyze your situation really badly because my TI is shit. And I'm making these hunches and you should listen to them. They're like, dude, your, your hunches are weak, man. You're not using your FE. You're not listening to me. So that's something. But I also don't really pay attention during this time also. So when people come to come to me during this time, I'm like, dude, I have to not deal with your issues because I am going to give you some whack judgment <laughs> and I am not feeling it and I'm going to give you whack judgment and if you take my advice you're probably going to end end up dead or something so I don't want to be like a part of that um with that being said um <laughs> that's basically what happens with the, the whackness <laughs> of Effie during this time I like to kind of spend time alone during my loops and just kind of chill and look up random shits. That's just all what I do. You know, this can come be astrology. This could be MBTI, which it was. Random, you know, music stuff. Anyway, so let's move on to my 2007 Britney Spears. This is not MBTI thing. This is just something I know when no happens. You know, this is one of my F, like my FE. It's really out of whack. <laughs> all right. Like basically, I get really impatient during this time. Also, I have emotional outbursts during this time. Like, I start crying and shit. Like, I cry in public. <laughs> and I'm overly emotional in public. Like, usually, like, I know INFJs are pretty emotional, but we kind of like to keep it to ourselves and tell trusted people, you know? So basically, like, I don't care during, the, during this time. I get into Twitter fights. I, I just don't care. <laughs> and... You know, that, and this slowly falls into my SE grip. Like, I just lose track of my ox completely. And I just start buying things and think physical items are happiness and experiences. So I'd go to a lot of concerts. I'd, like, walk around in nature more. I would, you know, just do random stuff like that. Um, I bought a lot of vinyl during my grips um that's why I have a lot of vinyls <laughs> well vinyl freak you know I have a lot of vinyl because of this um but I do try to keep my vinyl spending at a minimum like 25 per vinyl unless if it's an album I really love because you know so I don't 
you know, tempt myself with buying like $50 box sets or something. Like I was so tempted to buy Awaken My Love on vinyl, but it's so expensive. Like it, it, it like comes with like holographic glasses or something. Like I didn't buy that because I'm like, dude, this is the, the, the this ain't good in the long run. Like I do love Awaken My Love, but it, I loved it on more of a Lazaretto kind of thing. You know, I would buy it just to see really bad holographs, not like full out holographs. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, basically that was a thing. Um, but yeah, uh, I bought How to Be a Human Being recently. It, it was shockingly $25 and it came with like lithographs and it was 180 gram 2LP and it was it's beautiful. Um, and also I bought, now it's what I call music for volume 420 and it has mom jeans in it and I just really wanted to get into mom jeans so I'm like why not? And that one was $15 and it was purple and I never got a purple vinyl because I wanted to get Turny in Your Arms on vinyl but I didn't, I, I waited too long. <laughs> Oops! So I didn't get that. <laughs> Anyways so, you know during my C grip I get a ton of vinyl Usually they're cheap, like the most I spent on a vinyl during this time was um, An Awesome Wave by Alt-J and it is my least favorite purchase, I really do regret it. Like it was $30 for, for like a flimsy vinyl, like you remember those like, I don't know, I watched this video about this guy and he like collects like, he talks about the 80s. He's like, hey, do you remember these like McDonald's, like listen to these like vi like floppy disk vinyl things? <laughs> and yeah, like it, it's basically like that thing. Like it's not a floppy disk vinyl or like a floppy vinyl, whatever they call them, but it, it it's like it thin, huh? And I'm, I'm scared to break that. You know, it's frail. It's a frail marble piece that I'm afraid to drop on the ground. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, basically that's like the one decision I regret um, when I like impulse buy stuff. Uh, so yeah, I impulse buy, go to concerts, go to local ones. I talk to people. It's like whatever, dude. Um, and I'm really out there. Like my friend says, hey, I want to hang out without really any notice. I just hang out with them. Like I hate it when this happens. Like I really do. I hate it. When, like one time someone came over to my house. It's not like I hate the dude. It's just I was sick that day and I wasn't feeling too hot. And I was like, who told you you could come over? I'm a mess. <laughs> so yeah, that happens. And I was like, what the frick is happening? I'm not dealing with this. You know what I mean? So yeah, that, that's kind of my experiences with like loops and grips, the death grips. <laughs> I can't, I, I, I'm like throwing out like really bad memes out here. I'm sorry, but you know what I mean? That's just kind of my experiences. My 2007 Britney Spears, which is kind of an only me thing, you know, when FE gets whack in general. That's what I call 2007 Britney Spears. I just, I, I just don't care. <laughs> you know, I make really bad judgments during then too. Like I'm gonna add it right here. Like I, if I tr interpret something as rude, I'll like throw it back at them and they'll be like, what the fuck are you talking about? So yeah, that's basically it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video or whatever. I'm sorry if I'm like really out there. I'm just really tired and I, you know, gotta get that confidence, man. Gotta talk to people. You know, gotta develop that FE if I'm looping. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyways, so yeah, peace out, hug a tree. I'm going to drink my coffee, uh, I guess, uh, sub subscribe. <laughs> um, check out my other videos. Uh, check out my room shit posts. I'm not watching The Room anymore though, cause that just, that movie's bad. <laughs> the movie's bad. Um, I, I love Tom Rousseau but I can't stand a lot of Tommy Wiseau. It's like how I can't stand a lot of myself. I see a lot of myself in Tommy Wiseau. So I have to take a step back and be like, okay, this is a movie I'd make and I don't, I don't want to remember, I don't want to like think that. So that, that's kind of my mentality on The Room. So I'm not gonna watch any more of The Room because I would bang my head against my computer. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna go now, and I hope to talk to you all dudes later. <laughs> Peace out, hug a tree like 
usual. I, I hope I can find a tree bad clip art thing. Yeah, um, the video's gonna end now.